Ani, thank you for joining TikTok and giving me so much support on my channel. Um, there are numerous YouTube stories, probably some stories here on TikTok about being saved. And I'm still not sure how it happened to me. I'm not sure I even want to call it that. But I know that um, in our conversations, I've been talking about how I went through some profound changes last summer. Um, I um, started out, I didn't even want to be saved. First of all, I didn't even want to be. I wasn't really even really interested in the Jesus stuff then. I mean, I respected Christians and Christianity religion, and I, I really looked up to Jesus' teachings. And I was brought up in a Christian Christian home, Christian family. My mom, my stepfather, my aunt, my grandparents, that we were we were a Christian family. But I was an agnostic. Excuse me, I'm drinking herbs. I'm still uh, finishing off the last of my cold. Got a cough hanging on. I'm gonna consult with a doctor. Don't worry if it keeps up. I remember um, not being sure if God existed, but now at this point, I don't think I care if I think He exists or not. <coughs> It's good for me to be able to turn my will and my life over to something greater than me to deal with my addiction. I'm a love addict, and I'm also a survivor of some very serious abuse as a child. And the only way I believe I can uh, deal with it is, is in a spiritual realm, a spiritual uh, place. So... Um, I got tired of being stimulated against my will online, and I got tired of being stimulated against my will on the media, the television, the radio, the music, even uh, YouTube music and stuff I was watching and listening to. I got tired of uh, feeling like I had to listen to that. I got tired of sex seeming to be the end-all be-all in the world and in my social life and in my uh, life on the internet I was doing live streams I still wish TikTok would let me live stream even though I don't have a lot of followers I don't think that's fair it's discriminatory but I go to a place called Pacocha and uh, I sometimes live stream on Instagram and I have a platform where I, I do audio live streams on one of my mental wellness podcasts. I have three. I have a comedy podcast and two mental wellness podcasts. One that I use to live stream and, and stream onto YouTube. And the other I just do recordings. But in the process of doing my live streaming, I was being invited to some uh, colorful events. And I, I don't know, one night I just snapped. You know, you know the story already, Ani. I know you asked me this question so that I could answer it for the sake of the others here on TikTok. Maybe even for the, for the sake of my roommate, Bruce, who watches me on TikTok. And um, I snapped one night. And um, I just got tired of, of the stimulation and all the all the sin. You know, all the all the pe people around me seemingly using using something vital to uh, reproduction and bonding and life as a sport or a hobby just to just to have fun with it and um, got tired of uh, women being putting down putting being put down I got tired of females being disrespected and I thought the only way I'm gonna feel inspired now to do further mental wellness work and music is very inspiring I like dance music I like uh, people have even criticized me for listening to Hillsong style and I had to tell them I did not join Hillsong I didn't I didn't even join a church I kind of made it my own idea for a church 
and um, the, the Ideals Church of Universal Ethics. That's not a church, that's an idea in my head. It's like an inner church, an inner spirituality. And uh, I posted that a while back. I was inspired to do that. I was listening to uh, some Hillsong style music. I was listening to some traditional church gospel music. And I go to a, a church service on YouTube every weekend. They live stream and I often miss it because I don't get up in the morning. But I listen to the recording. I listen to the uh, recorded stream uh, in the evening. So um, when I started uh, listening to music, I felt like I was at a barber shop admiring everybody's haircuts and thinking it might not be such a bad idea to get a haircut. And um, like everybody's haircut's different, I believe everybody's idea of Christianity is different. And your ideas of Christianity might be different from my ideas. I respect the idea that, that Jesus believes he's the Son of God. Even though I'm and I don't care if God ex I don't care if I think God exists or not. I've adopted, especially during the pandemic, an idea like this. I have to open my mind to things I don't understand while also trusting science and some secular ideas as well. But I felt like I was lifted. When I started listening to, to Christian music, I felt lifted. I felt like I had this sense that uh, he could or sh shall be you know, watching me and directing me to to do my mental wellness work. Lust is not the end all be all. It's also helped me deal with other areas in my mental wellness process, you know, especially coping with dealing with anger and anxiety and depression. The idea that Jesus' love is accessible to all now, not everybody can fall in love, not everybody. Uh, is fallen in love with. Not everybody is marriage material. Not everybody is mature enough to deal with a sexual relationship. So uh, being able to um, live in a church or a institution or even an idea in, in our minds, an idea of love that's higher than, uh, than carnal love, So uh, I don't know if that's a good answer, but um, I was saved when I wasn't even interested in it. It was like dealing with, like an alcoholic dealing with an AA meeting. I've heard alcoholics often say, I wasn't interested in AA when I went in the rooms. In fact, I hated it, and um, I just, I didn't think it was going to help me, but after a while it did. It just, something happened. So that's basically what happened to me with Jesus. I think I'm a Christian agnostic and I have an IQ, Ideals Church of Universal Ethics. All right. Thanks, Ani, for the question. That's a good question. Everybody, be safe.